Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one, and this is my thank you gift to everybody who came shopping with me in July. Um, as you know, I always send out a little thank you card and a gift as well to everybody who's placed an order with me. And then I also have the bonus, the hostess code club as well, so that's a bonus gift as well. And yeah, I wanted to share with you what I'd made. So I had great fun making these. Now I made 160 of these little pouches, and inside is a packet of sweeties. So some Haribo sweeties and yeah I, I cut up lots and lots of designer series paper into six by six pieces and I decided I was going to work with the paper before I decided actually really what else I was going to do so I bought the paper cut it and then went yeah what am I going to do now so I decided uh, when I was going to wrap the sweeties I was going to actually take inspiration from the Moroccan sweet so I've got that here in my catalogue this is page 66 and 67 so this is one of our suites where Stampin' Up! Um, and the uh, design team have come up with all sorts of projects and then they have made suggestions of what to put with it now they've obviously got the paper and the main stamp set which interestingly I haven't used but they also have washi tape the matches and then lots of different ribbons now I didn't use the twine I actually used the cucumber crush ribbon here which I'm just got off camera but I loved it and I do love all of the colours so and I know you like to see it and I'm still working slightly ahead only got a small part to finish off these are my punch outs and they're all waiting to go on so there's 40 of each colour so I've got uh, cucumber crush uh, delightful yeah delightful Dijon dapper denim and Cajun craze a couple of colours I don't work with very often those two so these are all Stamped, punched, they've got the dimensional on the back, ready to go. And that is my final stage for these because in a massive bag, which I don't know that you're going to see into all that well, this is a huge, giant Sainsbury's bag. that are all my pouches, so I'm just waiting to... I've got to trim off the ribbon a little bit and stick my doodar on, so let me see if I can zoom out a bit for you. It's huge, there's loads in there, so... Yeah, anybody who was watching on my Facebook page um, recently would have seen that actually I took the boys to the skate park and there's only so much I can do while they're scootering and I'm sat doing nothing. So I did these. Well, I did I did the, the first part of it. So, okay. Six by six piece of paper, 15 by 15 centimetres. Really simple and easy to make. These make great favours. So I want this pattern outside. So I've got my Haribo and I've just sort of tucked those bits in a bit and you kind of wrap it like a present but don't push down on the sides because we like the nice soft shape. Um, oh I forgot to get my, probably got the back of my head now, I forgot to get my stapler out which I now can't find. Where's my stapler? I don't know what I've done with my stapler. Oh I can see it there so I put it in a different place. So pinch at the bottom staple closed okay grab the washi tape of your choice and I went through two two whole packs of this to do um, my decoration which color shall I go with I'm going to go with the blue and tear off a bit to run up this seam here and the great thing about washi tape is that it's not designed to be um, you know you the whole essence of it is that it sort of has rough edges wrap it round the top so that's that closed now grab some more enough to wrap round and we're going to seal this is the back but we're going to have the seam at the front because we're going to cover it okay hole punch here i've got my cropper doll love my cropper doll i'm going for the bigger hole which is three three sixteenths of an inch that's a funny size. Whoops. Punch a hole there. And then I the three ribbons I worked with. So I worked with all of the all of the washi and all of the ribbons. So I've got the delightful Dijon um, striped ribbon. And I've got the ruffle ribbon in dapper denim and emerald envy. So I'm gonna go with emerald envy this time. And again, this is the front, so. a bit through and what I did because I made lots of these I actually cut the ribbon first hence why I've now got to come in and trim them all off but I don't mind that 
tie a little knot and so that it sits at the front. Trim off those bits and then I, oh, have I got any very vanilla scrap? Oh, I didn't get any out. No, this is going to be brutal. You're going to watch me now cut into an A4 sheet of, of very vanilla and I've just had to the camera. But that's okay. So, the stamp set. Which one do I use? I need Cup of Paradise. Oh, knocking a block over there. So I wanted this Hello. It just kind of went with it. I thought it was really good. So, onto a block. Cajun Craze. I've pulled this one out ready. Um, but I've already told you the four colours I went with. And, oh. Let's try and get this on. There we go. And that dries very slightly lighter, actually. And then one and three eighths of inch, an inch. Now, the one and a quarter exactly fits round the circle. Um, but I found, and I'll show you on this one, I, it, it fits round exactly, but I didn't like the look of it on there. And it would have meant simply cutting another one. So I decided to go one size bigger, one and three eighths, and that gave me a nice little vanilla border without having to cut two pieces of cardstock. Dimensional on the back. And that is my project. And I'm hoping everybody's received them, enjoyed eating them, because we all like sweeties. And that, yeah, maybe you can get some inspiration for them for a project that maybe you're making. Anyway, thank you ever so much to everybody who came shopping with me. Thank you ever so much to everybody who watches and shares. And yeah, I hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.